All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. So I know it's been two weeks since I uploaded, I think at least two weeks. But I'm still here. I'm still making money. I'm slowly progressing forward and the account is still slowly growing and I'll get to that later. But I do want to go over all my spreads, mainly Amazon put credit spreads for the last two weeks. Um, I didn't kill it, but I did make money. I had out of maybe 10 trades, I only had one losing trade. So the, the strategy is definitely working. For the long term, it's definitely working for me. And um, I'm definitely starting to learn how Amazon moves a lot. Because once you start trading the same thing over and over and over again, you do start to learn it. So let's go over it. So not this week. So this is last week's trades. Monday or Tuesday, it was a six. I opened up, um, I tried getting filled four Amazon put credits, 3135 by 3140. I tried getting filled with four of them and I got a partial fill. So I got, I ended up getting filled for two spreads and I collected 30 cents a piece. So I collected $60 on the first one. Then the same day, I oh, as the price was dropping and the um, premiums were going up, I decided to take advantage and I collected $70 on another two. So I had four open at that point. And then later on that same day, I opened up another two at 80 cents. So I ended up, so I ended up with six spreads and I collected $210. So I held on to that the rest of the day and the next day, so this didn't count as a day trade. I sold all six and I paid 180. So I collected, so I locked in $30 profit on that trade. And this was um, April 7th. Then on April 7th, I opened up um, two spreads, 3195 by 3200. And I collected a dollar fifteen each, so that was two hundred and thirty dollars I collected. And then I sold the same day as a day trade for two hundred dollars, so I collected thirty dollars on that trade. So thirty dollars on the first trade, thirty dollars on the second trade. Then April seventh, I opened up another. I tried getting um, eight spreads, but I ended up only getting four as a partial fill. So I got four, I collected $48. And then I opened up another four and I collected $44. So that was eight spreads at $92. Then I ended up closing this out the next day. I sold, I bought back all eight for $24. So I made $68 on that trade. Then on 4-8, I opened up a 3380 80 by 3385. And these are all Friday expirations. So this was the day before. So this was um, Thursday. The day before expiration, I opened up pretty close to, pretty close to the stock price. I think we were at thirty four something at this point. I opened up one. No, I'm sorry. I opened up eight of these and I collected a hundred and twenty dollars. And then the next day, I bought them back for eighty eight dollars. So I made thirty two dollars off that trade. And that was it for the week. That was it for that week. It was full profit. So that week I was up um, $160 bucks I made last week. Now we're going to this week, four twelve. I ended up opening one Amazon spread. Um <clears throat> Let's see what was it? 3270 by 3275. That was on Monday. 
And I held that until Tuesday, the 13th, and I closed that out at 35, so I made $15 off that trade. And then Tuesday, I ended up opening a 32.95 by 3300, and it was a partial fill. I tried getting um, eight of them, I only got filled for one, so I collected $30 on that trade. And I ended up buying that back the same day for $25. So I made $5 off that trade. And then I was done with Amazon for the week. Then I shifted my I shifted my attention over to um, GameStop. I wanted to play GameStop. I wanted to play the top side of GameStop. So I ended up opening a call credit spread on April 13th. I opened one spread and I got filled for $21. Then later on that day, I ended up opening, and now these are all the exact same strike. I ended up opening another spread and I collected 31. Then on 414, which was Wednesday, so I carried those two spreads over from Tuesday to Wednesday. Then on Wednesday, I ended up, the price is dropping. So I ended up opening another one for 45. And I opened up one more for 55. So I was holding four spreads for, let's see. I collected $152 off four spreads. And because the price was going up, for Amazon and getting closer to my strikes, I, I got nervous. So I ended up taking a loss on this trade. I ended up buying all four back for $236. Now remember, I collected $152 and I bought back for $236. So I lost $84 on this trade. So that was my one losing trade for two weeks. Then I made a... Then I ended up playing Amazon put credit spreads because the price was, looked like it wasn't coming down, looked like it was rallying back up. So on 414 on Wednesday, I opened up seven um, put credit spreads. I collected $175 and the same day I ended up buying them back for $91. So I collected 84 on that trade. Then once I was out of that one, I opened up another seven, 130 by 135, I collected $274. And then yesterday I closed all seven out. I bought it back for 259. So I collected $15 off that trade. And my last trade was a 135 by 140. I ended up opening this yesterday I collected $270 for six, um, total of six contracts. And this morning when the market opened, um, I bought that back for $228. So I collected $42 off that trade. So for two weeks, my total is $237 I collected. Which is, you know, $100 a week isn't bad. So that's it for that. And then there's one more thing to go over. So as you can see, my account is over $10,000 now. And from because what I didn't tell you yet, guys, is I'm invested in Dogecoin. And I'm kicking myself for not holding it when I had it at one penny and seven cents. But as you can see... I'm still holding this Norwegian Cruise Line covered call that expires in September. I might end up trying to roll this thing closer because I really don't want to hold it this long. But here's my doge right here. So we're at 35 cents. This this is crazy. I ended up getting I ended up getting in this a couple days ago for 9 cents. And as the price went up, I was adding and averaging up. So at this point right now, I'm holding 9,068 Dogecoins. 
and my average cost is 15 7. The price right now is 35 cents, almost 36 cents. And at 9.35 this morning, it hit 47 cents. It hit almost 50 cents. This is crazy. This thing is definitely going to... I see this thing definitely hitting a dollar, hopefully. I'm holding. I'm not selling this. I'm holding it for a long term. I'm up 127%. Just today, I'm up 34% or $833 just today. At 9.35 this morning, my account was over 11000 So hopefully... <clears throat> so if this hits $0.50, cents, my equity is going to be worth half of my quantity. So around $4,500. So I'll be about $3,500 in profit. Cause, so I put in about $1,000. That's how much I'm in on this. And if Dogecoin goes up to a dollar, then this whole position will be worth $9,068. If it goes up to $10, it will be worth $90,000. And if Dogecoin ever goes up to 100 bucks a coin, this will be worth almost a million bucks. So I'm just hanging on to this long term. I'm, I'm in for the ride. So that's a complete update. The account's finally over 10000 and um, what could I say? I mean, it's been good so far. All time, I'm up 217% or $6,985. And just to prove to you guys that I've grown this account, let me show you all my deposits. Here's all my deposits. This is it. My last deposit was November 23rd, 2020. I deposited six hundred dollars, so I'm in this thing a total of one, two, like, like three thousand two hundred dollars, I think, that I put into this, and now we're we're over ten thousand. So for today, I'm up one thousand one hundred sixty-seven dollars for the week, nineteen hundred, for the month twenty-two hundred, the past three months thirty-eight hundred. The past year, I'm up 7500 and all time, I'm up just over 7000 So 278% for the year. So that goes to show you the power of Dogecoin and the power of spreads. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be it for the video. Hope everyone had a good, solid week.